Hi Boss Beauties, welcome back to my channel. This is part two of my phase from February and March. I did beauty and hair, and I have a hairpin that has been lost in the wig that I just found. Randomness. <laughs> real life though, real life. But I am back now at the end of March. I filmed my favorite hair and beauty faves in the first half so i will link it below and a bar will come across like now to show um that video so look at that one first if you have the extra time but if you're really really into fashion then stick with this one um i really hope you all subscribe and you watch every single video that i work on in my spare time with that being said, let's get into my favorite shoes first because you guys know I am a total shoe junkie. So I have these B by Bryant Atwood shoes here. Um, I I rarely wear two pair a pair of shoes two days in a row. So like if I go to work on a Monday, I probably won't wear that same pair of shoe until at least the next week or the next month or something like that. I just have a lot of shoes that I can cycle through so that I don't have to. That also allows me my shoes to get minimal wear. And I bought these shoes last January, January 2017. And then the very next week I was in um, a car accident where I could not wear heels for nine months. So now we fast forward to January and then February and March of 2018 where the season is, it's really in season to wear these. These are velvet pointy toe, um, half Dior say pumps. Um, and I literally wore these as often as I could. I was like trying to come up with new outfits to wear these shoes. I absolutely adored them. I I know exactly why I love it. It's the perfect point. So when you wear the shoe, you know, I'm looking at it like from this angle and that point, it just slenderizes the foot. It makes it look good. I, I'm not afraid of color, as you guys probably, you know, know about me and can tell in this bedroom of mine. But I'm not afraid of color. And these, if you want to take a basic outfit, basic jeans, and zhuzh it up a little bit, I definitely added these. Um, definitely in February and March. I wore these a lot. And for the wear that I got out of them, like, back-to-back -back days um it doesn't look like it you know um the bottom still looks good it has a leather sole and these are very high quality shoes i got them from lordandtaylor.com because we don't have lord and taylors in houston but i absolutely adore these and these were probably a tie for top shoes uh, of this February and March. So I'm gonna go with my favorite nudes, which were these Calvin Klein. So I bought these shoes um, probably in January to wear to a bridal shower. I was The dress from that bridal shower also made the list because it was in the dry cleaners when I did my January faves. But these pumps, when I wore them then, they were like, mm, not as comfortable as I thought they were going to be. But since then, I have been wearing them to the office and they literally have been saving my life. If I didn't know what shoe to wear, I would just put on a nude shoe because... Um, I would put this on, it would look like an extension of my foot, it would make me look taller and slimmer. They actually did need just a little breaking in of the leather because the soles already look like sneakers. Like they have this gel insole which makes them very comfy. But again, I love the back where it says Calvin Klein here. I love that little addition. They're not too high for the office. I think these are about a three and a half inch um, heel. I have worn these at least five or six times already and they don't look like it. I literally think I could own a pair of shoes like this forever now and it took me a while to jump on the new pump bandwagon but now I see why everyone you know they would get the um, Christian Louboutin Pagals in a nude and things like that because you really want a shoe that's just gonna last forever. I don't know how long these are gonna last but I got these from Nordstrom in my Nordstrom sale. I probably showed it to you guys. But these, again, they have a great point. They do not 
cram my toes. They give me enough. I can wiggle my toes in there. I have enough space. Um, the point is not as pointy as some um, other shoes you can see. So I really, really like these. Okay, another pair of fave shoes. Now, I showed you guys when I bought these. I believe they were in some video that I put up in January. These are the Nicholas Kirkwood um, booties. I forget the name of these booties, but this is what they look like. I showed you they had the, the suede, the pebbled leather, the smooth leather with the pewter bow trimmed in gold. This is gold. And then it's gold around the heel. Good chunky heel. Good comfortable heel. I love wearing this with dresses. Um, the, I've worn them with pants as well. It just kind of covers the top of them. But with dresses, oh my gosh. These are like a winner winner chicken dinner. I have worn them so many times. I may insert pictures of me wearing them. But I wore these, talk about back to backs, like back to back, day by day. This was an actually really cold February and March for Houston, so I did get a lot of wear out of these boots, and I'm so glad that I bought them. I bought them from the boutique 4510 in the River Oaks District here in Houston. I love that little boutique. If you've never been in there, they sell a lot of luxury goods, but they have sales. So things in there actually go on sale. And I got these, they were like supposed to be over $1,000 or $1,100. I think I got them for 200 bucks. They are well worth it. Um, Let me see. Last pair of shoes that I absolutely loved, you guys. I I bought these from Poshmark, let me tell you. They were probably one of the first items I ever liked on Poshmark, but I never pulled the trigger. I didn't know if they were me. I felt like they were a little edgy, a little grungier than I normally go for, but I then started Googling the boot. I mean, if you follow one item for, let's say, three months, you definitely are in love with it. Like, just go ahead and look it up. They are originally $455. They are by Rachel Zoe, um, whom I absolutely loved her style. But they're sold out everywhere. And these were new inbox, plastic still on them, never worn boots. Y'all, these... I love wearing these boots with uh, dresses <laughs> uh, and I have worn back to back again like I absolutely love them they are a heavier boot um, they are sturdy the leather is so tough like this may be the highest quality leather boot that I have and I got these for about a hundred bucks off Poshmark again regular price 455 they were new in box I love the buckles I love the brown now this is I'm in front of a window so you see that they are a true true brown but when I wear them in the office because of how the lighting is they look actually gray and some people couldn't tell if they were brown or black you can see they're darker at the toe which is um, one of the reasons why I think they are so versatile but I've worn these with jeans I'm probably gonna wear these today you guys like I'm absolutely fiending over these boots and I just bought them in March but they are definitely one of my fave fave items of this month because I didn't have them in February but in March these became like the loves of my life and I'm so glad that I bought them Again, if you've never shopped on Poshmark, which now I have so many people addicted, talk about an influencer. Um, people are just really addicted to it because I keep buying all this fabulous stuff from it and be like, y'all better get on this. If you pay a full price, you're paying too much. I'm just saying. So anyway, I went ahead and bought a new handbag. I bought actually three handbags in the month of March. One has made my fave just because I wore it so much. And it's this Ted Baker London crossbody. I got this from... 
I get this from? I got this from Nordstrom Rack. I think I spent maybe $85 or $90 on it. It was on clearance. I love the gray. I have been looking for a gray crossbody um, because the one that I bought from Marshalls maybe last September is already like ripping. I bought it for maybe 20 bucks. It was not worth it. I do regret buying it. Um, I think I probably got $20 worth out of it because it did last six months, but you know, I could have saved that $20 and lent it to something that's going to last a really long time. This Ted Baker one, of course, is of higher quality. The leather is so smooth. Like everybody just wants to touch it and pet it. It's probably the smoothest leather item that I have. Have. I don't know how long this one will last. We will see. I will let you know. But I absolutely loved it because it came with this rose gold chain. Oh my gosh. It has the leather strap at the top of the chain to make it comfortable. But it fits such a good amount of items. I've been packing this um, to the office in my work bag as well as um, out to play and it has never let me down. What took the bag over the top? The inside is this beautiful pink shade, right? Such a girly girl's color. And then it came with this pouch. And this pouch, I have coins in it already. But I keep uh, cards and coins and cash in it. I think it's a great accessory to have. And it just... You know, we'll keep your bag organized. I'm all about bag organization these days. So, um, you'll tell by my next favorite items. But yeah, this, a good fave for the month. And then, um, I also bought this pouch. I bought a new work tote. I think I mentioned it in my January faves. And I bought this pouch as well as, as well as an item that's inside of it. I have got to keep my work bag organized. I was getting frustrated towards the end of the year because I would throw things in it and I could not find it. And then I realized now I see why people love those um those SLGs so much because they really do keep your bags organized and I, if you're an organizational freak like I am, this um wallet without a chain um, wallet clutch you want to call it. I got it from Nordstrom. It's in this Safiano um leather red. I think I only paid like $50 for it or something, but it's a fave of the month. I keep my cards in it here. I bought this card holder recently, but if, when I go to work, I just put all my cards in this area. And then here's my cell phone. I keep my cell phone like at the top where cash should go because I rarely ever have cash. Let me be honest. If you rob me, you're just practicing because I ain't got no money, honey. And then my Prada six ring key holder also fits perfectly inside. This is actually a fave of the month as well, but I already did an entire video on it um, showing you in March why I loved it so much, but I keep that on the inside so I always know where my keys are when I'm in the office. And then if I have somewhere to go, like for lunch or I need to run an errand, I take this out of my work bag and just pack it with me, throw it in the car seat, you know, pack it up, go from um, meeting to meeting with it and it's better than packing your big work tote so this with the items inside have definitely been one of my faves of the month if you a girl boss beauty who works in an office setting or you need to keep your bag organized i definitely say look into these kind of pouches like this that you can keep in your bag i absolutely adore them and you already know the the prada six key ring holder is a fave like it has definitely helped me because, oh, and let me show you. See how I was telling you guys in this bag, like, I can fit so much more in the bag, like, this um, for my cards, this for uh, my keys. Open it up. I can keep cash receipts and all that stuff in there. phone like and there's still so much space in here and you might think this is such a little bag but it really does hold a lot especially if it is organized so I might keep my stuff in this bag because I may end up packing it today with the boots like I really do love these items so finally last few items are going to be my fashion phase so one is my H&M blazer I showed you 
this and some of my new like fa January fashion finds. I just went into H&M one day with a girlfriend and picked up this blazer. I have been wearing it so often. I actually wore it yesterday. So if it's wrinkled, it's because it was in my gym bag and I just pulled it out. It is this red and black like herringbone um, plaid print. It just looks so professional. You look so put together. I even wore it with black jeans once. It definitely pulls a look together. If you're a curvy girl like me, see I have big like cha-chas and stuff on top and I like to keep the waist pulled in a single button blazer like this definitely does it um and and just makes you look really good it's vented in the back so it doesn't like stick to my butt and yeah this is definitely one of my faves of the month um another fave I will show you is what I bought I wanted to show you in January but it was in the dry cleaners this is a dress that I bought off Poshmark for a cool $34. It is inspired by, but not an actual um, self-portrait dress. It's just, I mean, it has a tag for another store in here. So this dress is so beautiful. I will post a picture of me wearing it. It has the nude um, inserts to cover these private areas but the rest of the dress is sheer and it has this netting and lace it is definitely it looks just like a self-portrait dress um but i love the collar i love how it just pulled me in and made me look very sophisticated and classy yet modern at the same time because i'm not a person that likes like old-fashioned lace stuff it's just not my thing so I just want to tell you that if you don't want to spend like $400 on a self-portrait dress definitely look at some of these like Amazon Poshmark boutiques like that and you can find a rep replica for a very very good price like $34 good um, and it fit perfectly I didn't have to make any alterations and yeah I wore a nude bra because you see it's supposedly sheer in this middle but when I put my brown skin and then my bra is the exact same color as my skin you couldn't really tell um in that middle part so just saying if you're like oh I don't want to show that my skin if you could not see anything I look totally classy in this just I I can't wait to have another excuse to wear this it will remain in the closet for sure just look how beautiful it looks back there just saying okay another one of my favorite i bought a few dresses and to do this winter to spring transition as i mentioned at the beginning of the year i want easy peasy items and so i bought this ralph polo ralph lauren um t-shirt dress from Marshalls I think it was about $25 but it looks so good on your girl and it's so comfortable and it really is like one big long t-shirt I can put this on with the boots and the crossbody today and be so comfortable and I can go to church in it but yeah see how I just put a whole outfit together like this I you can put in the wash I may just run a little iron over it um but yeah, it is so easy and it's so comfortable and it looks so good. I've worn this probably three times already and I just got it in March. Just saying. It had to make the phase list. I even posted a picture of me on Instagram wearing this. So um, one of the top looks of the month one of my favorite skirts and these are the last two items they are two skirts um and they're both midi skirts so it was cold outside and i definitely wanted um to wear skirts and boots but i did not want to you know wear like a short skirt every day because it was cold so this pleated skirt let's see i i kind of forget where i get this this is from nordstrom it's the halogen brand i bought this last year with these kind of knife pleats very conservative it looks great in the office um or wherever you're going where you have to have a more conservative look but it looks kind of prudish but when i put it on i dare i say i feel like a sexy librarian i don't know it is figure flattering i just put this 
a band part above my belly button because I don't want like the mushroom top, you know, to happen. It fits at a, it hits at a good place. It's not too long or not too short. This is just one of the items that I can easily wear and I wear with pumps. I think one day this month I actually wore it with these pumps and it looks really good to me. So just wanted to mention the conservative skirt for those of us who work in a conservative place where we're not really showing that much skin last item of the month was this skirt now let me tell you guys this lafayette 148 skirt i bought it um way last year in a haul that i had from um who what's the name of the last call so i got this from last call this skirt did not fit when i bought it and so i had to put it in the closet with a group of items where if i couldn't fit it in six months i had to give it away but you guys i have been working out and i fit my big tush in this skirt this month and i wore it i look i just felt so great i wore it to church with um a rose gold top and some rose gold pumps it has that split in the front, but it's a midi. It is fitted, but conservative. You look just so classy and put together in it. This is one, this is why I like higher end pieces because they just fit my body a lot better. Like I, I have a lot of body concerns and I don't like cheap fabrics. I don't like loose fabrics. I don't like showing more than I like to show. So with that being said, this skirt just hugs in all the right places. I wore it to church and then I backdoored and I wore it to the office. And I just felt like my whole life was put together, which is what we want every day, right? So with that being said, those are my favorite shoe and handbag, SLG and fashion finds of the month let me know what you think of my favorites i'm sorry that i missed february but a girl has so much to do i will be back on it in april uh, my life should be a lot smoother going forward um and so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed it please subscribe if you're not a subby i would like you to join the girl boss beauty community be blessed to be a blessing girl boss beauties